Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial we will learn how to find the missing number for numbers up to 15, looking at subtraction questions, and in this tutorial we're not going to use the number line. Okay, We're going to use a slightly different method. So let's have a look at our examples. We've got the first one here, which is 12 minus something equals 7. And let's write the second one down as well. We have something minus 6 equals 9. Okay, we've got two different examples. The missing numbers are in different positions. Now let's have a look at the first one. We've got 12 minus something equals 7. Now as we've said before, what we can do is to make it easier is to reorder the question. We're going to take the missing number and we're going to swap it, meaning we're going to change positions with the 7. Therefore, the question will read 12 minus 7 equals the missing number. Okay? 12 minus 7 equals the missing number. So now we can do this. It's a lot simpler. Now, how do we do 12 minus 7? Well, we can use the dot method. You can use you can use the number line again, but we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is use the head and fingers method. So this is with mental arithmetic. You can see the question, and I want you to do this without using pen and paper. Okay, 12 minus 7. Well, the first step is we're going to draw our stick figure. As you know by now, I'm not very good at drawing, so... We'll just make it nice and simple, nice smiley face for us. And now let's look at the question. We've got 12, so what we're going to do is we're going to say there is 12 on my head. Okay, 12 on my head. And we're going to draw, sorry, we're going to show how many fingers? It's seven. So you're going to need both hands for this. I want you to hold out all the fingers in one hand. That's one, two, three, four, and five. And then with the other hand, we have to keep going 6, 7. So you should be holding out 7 fingers. And now all we do is we start at 12 and we count backwards. Okay, we're subtracting, so we're going to count backwards. So count backwards with me from 12. We've got 11. Now each time you do this, close the finger. Okay, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. That is our answer, 5. 12 minus 7 is 5. Now write this in the original question. We've got 12 minus 5 equals 7. That is the missing number. It really is that simple. The hardest part, actually it's not the hard part, it's just understanding it, is to reorder the question. Now let's have a look at the second one. In here we've got the missing number over here. Missing number minus 6 equals 9. Now what we're going to do in this one is we're going to take the 6 and move it across to over here. So therefore the question will then read the missing number equals the 9. And because we've got a minus here, when we take it across to the other side, it becomes a plus. Okay? It's the missing number equals 9 plus 6. 9 plus 6. Okay? That's the tricky part here is to understand how we reorder the question. Now 9 plus 6, you should be able to do this by now. If you can't, what we'll do is we'll use the stick figure again. Okay, imagine this is you or me. It probably looks more like me than you. Okay, we've got 9. So I want you to say this. I've got 9 on my head. I want you to put your hand on your head and say, there is 9 on my head. Okay? And now take your hand back, and we're going to show how many fingers. It's 6. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So all the fingers on one hand, and one more is 6. And now what we're going to do is, we're going to start at 9, and this time we're going to count forwards. Not backwards, it's plus. Count forwards. Okay? Count with me. 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, and the last one is 15. That is our answer, 15. 15 equals 9 plus 6. 
Look at the original question. We've got 15 minus 6 equals 9. Now, I'm doing this with the head and fingers method, okay, with the stick figures. What I want you to do is to practice this, make sure you reorder the questions in the right way. And after a period of time, you should be able to do these, these questions in your head. They're not very difficult. So that is how we find the missing number for numbers up to 15 with subtraction questions.